So next step is compound gear. So what does it mean? So in the compound gear, we have a two gears on the same shaft. So this is a shaft and here we have a two gears. So this is one gear and this is a smaller gear. So if these two gears are attached to the same shaft, then these two gears will rotate with the same angular velocity of that of this shaft. So the angular velocity of these two shafts will become equally in this gear in this case. So now this is a shaft, this is a fixed shaft, and now what I do is I will engage this a bigger gear to the other gear externally. So let's say this is a gear one and this is a gear two and this is a gear three. So gear two and three are on the same shaft and rotating with the same angular velocity. And now I will you know engage this gear three to the other gear four here. Here, instead of you know engaging this gear four to the gear two, then it will become again the simple gear train. But here, instead of engaging this gear four to the two, I am engaging this gear four to the gear three, so that it will become compound. So in this case, we will see what happens the speed ratio. So here we know that you know n two equal to n three, but uh, T2 is not equal to T3. We need to remember this. So number of teeth on these two gates are different, totally different. So now here I can write, you know, N1 by N2 equal to T2 by T1. And then here N3 by N4. Because first these 1 and 2 are engaging and then 3 and 4 are engaging here. So N3 by N4 equal to T4 by T3. And what is the speed ratio? Speed ratio equal to n4 by n1. That means speed ratio is you know uh, ratio of the driven speed by driver speed. Sometimes it can be you know written as a driver speed by driven speed. Actually, the speed ratio is clearly specified in the given problem itself. So this can be how how to get this one. So this can be you know obtained by multiplying like this. N2 by N1. So from this we can write T3 by T4. And where is the N2 by N1 here? This is a N2 by N1. So from this we can write T1 by T2. But we know N3 equal to N2 from here because these two gates are in the same shaft. So these two will get cancelled. Then we will get N4 by N1. That is speed ratio equal to T1 T3 divided by T2 T4. So here all gear teeth are present. So there is no ideal gear present in this you know setup. And uh, if you observe further, this is simply the numerator is a multiplication of the all driver teeth, and the denominator is the multiplication of the all driven teeth. So speed ratio are the this. This is also called as sometimes you know train value, 1 by train value. So speed ratio equal to 1 by you know train value, T R A I N value. 